So this is the demo of what we will be building. We have a button for sign in to Google. We click on it, we get this pop-up. Now it will directly connect because I only have one account. So if you have multiple, it will connect multiple. So you click on it, you get a pop-up, it gets connected. You, even though if you refresh, it still stays there. I mean, the session stays here. Now you have to click on log out. Now if I refresh, I think there. So in this part, we will see how we can set up our Firebase. So I searched Firebase in Google. I went to their official website, and then I'm gonna click on go to console, where I will have to put my account details and give my password. So after you log in, you will see this page. I already have some projects, but you have to create a new project. And in there, you can give a name for your project. So for now, let's just give Google sign up. And then press continue. Continue. Then choose the account. For now, I'll just select default account. All right, let's wait for the project to get completed. All right, so as project is completed, we will see this window. Now we have a number of stuff going on in the left side. We have a, a, a sidebar and a place for other stuff. Then we have a number of options for build, release, monitor, analytics, engage, but all we need to care about is, we need to care about authentication for now. So we just have to click there, press get started. And then in here you have number of options that you can select. So you can select Google, Facebook. So for now I'm just gonna click on Google and enable it from here and then click Save. Now you see it is enabled. Now you can use uh, other options as well, like Facebook and stuff. So you just need to click on Add New Provider. Select Facebook. Enable. You will need an app ID and app secret. You will get that from the Facebook, same way you can add provider for GitHub. You can, again, client ID and app secret. Then you can also, with Twitter, you can also sign up with like custom Gmail and password. So you just click on it and enable it. Uh, there are pretty much a lot of options. So for now, we will just focus on Google, all right? All right, so in this part, we will create a new React JS app. So I'll get into the folder, I'll say CMD, uh, and then I'll get this uh, terminal. Inside of the terminal, I'll say MKDIR Google sign up. This will help me to create a new folder. As you can see that I have a new folder now. After that, I will just CD into the folder. So CD Google sign up. Now I am inside of the folder. So now you can use NPM if you want, but I'm using yarn. So yarn create react app dot. Now it will take some time, so I will be right back once that is complete. All right, that is completed. So I'll code dot to open that in my Visual Studio code. And let me zoom in so you can see better. Now you see I have number of folders here. It's a source. Then inside of the source I have index where I have app. I'm importing app from app.js and then I have all these data. So for, and then I have app.css 
index.css and the app I have some static data. I will have to open this in the browser, so I will open terminal and then I'll say yarn start. If you're using npm, so just say npm start. It will take some time. All right, there we have a boilerplate for React.js. So we'll go to app.js and then we'll remove everything and just say hello for now. There we go. Hello. So we need actually a button for sign into Google plus we need a card. So I will create that styling stuff to not waste time on that. So I will be right once that is completed. Right. So that is completed. Now you can see a, a very good card here where I have a name, an email place, a logout button. So when I click on logout, I see sign in with Google. When I click on sign in, I get into my card again. Now if I show you the code, I have a set is logged in inside and sign up using Google. And then I have a logout button where I am just making it false and true respectively. And if the log is logged in as false, then I'll show the button. If it is true, then I'll show you the, the card. Then I have app.css. Simple, I will give the code for you as well. Uh, for, for all the code. I took this button from Marco Ekov. Shout out to him. A very good sign-in button. Uh, thank you so much, Marco. All right. Now, we will be building the, the logical side of the React JS app where we can get a button and uh, uh, the, the logout stuff. All right, in the documentation, as you can see that we have, uh, before you begin, we have to add a config stuff inside of Firebase. We have to create an app. app. I'll go to project setting. Inside of project setting, I have a, I will create a new web app. I will give a name here, Google sign up, uh, sign in. Create a Google sign in app and it will take some time. As that is complete, as you can see, that it is saying add Firebase SDK. So, for adding the SDK, we have to install npm install Firebase in our app. So, we'll get a new terminal and say npm install Firebase. Now, it will take some time. So, we will get back to browser and copy all these to, into our into a React JS app to make our application work. Now you have to uh, be sure about that because this is very secret information, okay? So make sure that you're using the env file to save it. So now I'll create a uh, Firebase folder. Inside of that, I'll say uh, Firebase config.js and I'll paste everything here. Now, as I said, that you have to use env file to store your data because it is a very secret data. So for that, you have to use process.env and let's say API key in this case, and you have to get this, this from the env file to be more secure. So I'm doing it like this is because I don't need any security for now. I will just do it this way. Now I'll click continue to console. Now let's go to the documentation and let's see what the documentation says. Just get the this line and I'll just copy that and paste it in app.js. Now I don't need get auth here because I will do the stuff in the Firebase console. So I'll say const auth is equals to get auth and the parameter I'll say app where I have initialized my app and then we'll import get auth from Firebase auth. And then we will export the auth to import it from the different pages. 
I don't really need the analytics analytics so I'll remove it I'll remove it from the top as well we didn't we don't need comments either so just remove it all right as we are done with the Firebase setup I'm going back to app.js and I will go back to documentation to copy sign in with pop up I'll copy this and I'll paste it inside of the function sign it, sign up using Google and I'll remove some stuff of it the comments as well and then I'll log user to see what, what is inside of the user and uh, here I have a lot of stuff but I'm just going to log error If I go up and you see this uh, this auth here, so we are importing auth from our Firebase config. So if I go back to Firebase config, you see we are exporting it and then we are importing that in the app.js. And provider is, we have to get provider, uh, Google providers. I'm gonna say cost provider is equals to new Google auth provider and it will give us the provider. And uh, as the res we get the result, I just wanna set is logged into true so we can get uh, a very good card and now i see the card directly so i'll change it true to false so we can get button on our initial stage now i'll click on this button all right you see the user object if I open this up, you see number of stuff, display name, email, we have phone number, we have photo URL. I'll not be using photo URL, but you can use it. Uh, we have display name and email. So I'll grab that using this tractive property. So I'll go back to my code. And I'll just use the structure property, display name and email, and then I'll console those to see what we have inside of the display name and email. All right, you see display name and email. Nice. Now what we need to do is we need to set user data in our state. So I will create a new state. I will give it a name user data and I'll give an empty object on the, on the initial and in the set user data I'll just give display name and email in the parameters all right now I have a data inside of the user data In the logout, we have to put the sign out logic. So we have a sign out importing from Firebase Auth. So I'll just copy that and paste that inside of the logout. And I'll just grab set is logged in inside of the then parameters. So is the it is logged out so we can log it out. And we have we have to make set user data to empty so we can have we we will not have any data. And I'll console the error. So if anything go, goes wrong, we can see the error. I think that's pretty much about the logout functionality. And that's pretty much about sign up using Google. Now I will grab the user data to put that in the static area. user data dot display name and user data dot email and if I go back to my react app it says sign out is not defined because we're not importing that so I'll import that from the Firebase O so I'll copy it and paste it here and if I check it, it's working I click on sign with Google amazing so we see your name and email it's dynamic All right, let's give our application some final touches. So when I click on sign in with Google, I get my Google data, name and email. But if I refresh, 
nothing there. So it's not really saving the data. We have to sign in again and again. So for that, I have this code I'll paste that. Uh, we have a use effect, so let me import use effect first. We have on earth state change. Now what on state change is doing that, uh, it is actually checking if our, we are already logged in or not uh, on the initial. And if we are logged in, it will just log in back. We are importing oath from Firebase config. We have a result. We are getting display name and email from result. And we are just getting this in the user data. And we are setting is log in to true. If not, then false. We have dependency, nothing. So we just need this on the initial. This is pretty much you need. So if I refresh, you see we are already logged in. If I log out and now refresh, nothing there. That's it for the video. I hope you guys like the video. So if you do, press the like button and share with your friends. Leave a comment what type of videos you guys want in the future. I will make that. Thank you.